hi guys welcome back to the channel make sure you're liking subscribing and commenting on these videos and go ahead and leave us a request and we'll make it happen for you this week we're doing sawfish fritters with a twist let's go So we're starting with just the plain flour. So it's plain flour in the plastic container. What I'm showing you is our pre or pre um, cut up seasonings. So to the plain flour, we're gonna just add some powdered seasoning. You can add onion powder, salt, all purpose seasoning, black pepper. I didn't add onion powder because I have onions um, diced to add at the other step okay so i just added all-purpose seasoning salt and black pepper to the flour dry flour not not with any water addition yet and then we gradually mix while we add water all right so with this mixture unlike with the dumplings you're going to add a lot of water because you need it to be a mixture um that ends up being smooth so you need a smooth consistency so that you can have the fritters without flour pockets right so you're gonna go ahead and you mix and add water mix and add water i use a spoon because it tends to allow me to give me like a little press a little press motion while i'm mixing so that i get the flour separated so it will be smooth when I'm done mixing. So as you can see, it takes a lot of water to get to that place, but you are still trying to get the, rid of the lump, so you will keep mixing until that happens. So you can see it's getting smoother. It's looking like, it's looking like when you make pancake from scratch, right? But this is just flour with powdered seasoning. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna keep mixing until it's smooth enough um and it is going to be something that you are going to be able to judge so after you get it to that smooth consistency you're going to go ahead and add all your your vegetables that you had prepped before along with the salt fish right so make sure that you boil your salt fish first you don't want it to be extremely salty so you'll take out some of the salt and then you separate it into smaller pieces cut up um onions tomatoes escalion and then i have like thyme but what i did was i took off the leaf of the stick so that i don't have stick in the fritters when i'm frying all right so in this i had some te technical difficulties so in this cream i already fried a few of the fritters which is why you're seeing residue in the oil so the oil i preheated medium to high and then I added the mixture with a big spoon. So I just take one spoon and add it. And I try to make sure that in each fritter, I have all of the ingredients. So I try to make sure that I have salt fish, tomatoes, onions, scallion, and also thyme, right? So that with each bite, you get all of the ingredients in your mouth. So I, because I um, don't like my fried stuff too dark um i tend to turn a few times i flip them over a few times before they're actually done cooking and i do that because i don't like them too dark and also that i want it to cook all the way through what will happen is if you have it on one side and it gets dark you will be tempted to think that it's finished it's not always the case so i turn them more than one time okay so i'll just keep turning them in the oil trying to make sure that it comes with a it, i will have a golden color at the end and also making sure that the inside of the fritter is also cooked all right in the next frame what i didn't show you is that i also had shrimp now that is something that i just tried and it is so awesome so what I did was I had uncooked shrimp and I just saute them, cut them in small pieces and add it to the mixture, okay? 
with the saltfish and everything else. So the saltfish fritters I did for persons who are allergic to shell food in my family. And then I added the shrimp after I finished frying the ones with only the saltfish for the persons who like seafood like myself. So um, we went ahead and we added shrimp to the mixture. Just like little pieces, nothing grand, not the whole shrimp. You just dice it up like you did the other stuff, add it to the mix, and then you just do the same process. Take a big spoon, scoop out some of the mixture, add it to your oil, and you turn as you go along to make sure that you're, you get a golden brown color and that inside is cooked, okay? Um, sometimes the frying process takes a little bit longer depending on how you have your what what your your stove is set to i fry on a medium to high heat mostly to the medium side though because i don't want it to get burnt that is a major thing for me so most of my frying stuff i prefer for it to take longer than to try to do it quick and then have something raw and burnt on my plate so i just keep turning keep frying keep turning gradually you can see that in each of these fritters you can actually see the scallion you can see the tomatoes you cannot see the saltfish because of the color of the saltfish and how the video is but if you are physically doing it you can see the ingredients while you fry okay and it's the same thing with the shrimp when you cook the shrimp and it gives you that pink color while you're frying, you will see that light pink color in the fritters, okay? And also another tip, if you are frying, after the second batch, what you would want to do is clear your oil. So you don't want those little pieces in the oil because they will, they will continue to fry, obviously, and then those pieces will burn. And then you'll have a lot of smoke and a lot of burnt smell while you're cooking, which is not really pleasant. Okay, so you'll go ahead and just take them out of the pot after the second batch and then you keep frying. So as you can see, I'm taking them out. They're properly cooked. The color is perfect. So it's good to eat. All right. So I want you guys to try this method. Try this ingredient and tell me what you think. I would suggest that you add the salt, the, the, the seafood, preferably the shrimp because I didn't try crab, so I don't know how that will turn out, but I would suggest that you try it, right? And comment below so that we know what you think. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to hear from you.